Hi, my name is Eric Swanson, and here's an idea for the um, ideation experience coming up in Dallas in July. Um, a few years ago, I was asked uh, by a church that was reconfiguring their office space how I would configure their office space. And um, here's what I told them. At Down at Leadership Network, we use whiteboards to uh, develop ideas and to innovate and to, um, to be creative and to refine ideas. And these boards are about six foot tall by six foot wide. Um, and uh, they'd be perfect dividers. Instead of having cubicle walls, have these boards as walls, then have desks on, rolling, on, on rollers and chairs on rollers. And every Friday, uh, just to create a, a space in the week where staff could uh, pull their whiteboards into the middle of the room and people could simply brainstorm on ideas that would, would help make the church better, help make the uh, church's impact for the kingdom bigger. I think one of the definitions I like about a learning organization is this, is that it's where the least qualified person can make the greatest contribution because their ideas are, are weighed against the mission, not against their, their tenure or their position or uh, uh, you know, their, ex their so-called education or expertise. But uh, each idea can be evaluated against the mission. And it's, it kind of goes back to something Jim Collins wrote several years ago, but he was asked the question, what was the greatest innovation ever? And his answer was, it was the US Constitution. Because it was that one mechanism that spawned all the inventiveness, the creativity, um, the inventions of the United States. And I think in the same way, um, that uh, many staff teams don't ever talk to each other. They pass each other in the halls and there's never an exchange of ideas. So by simply creating a space and a time and a place where people can come together just for, uh, you know, just the uh, of ideation and um, innovation, I think that would be a great thing that could face the, the church, uh, change the face of the church and the church's impact on the kingdom.